Hi there, I'm Rich Fisher. I'm one of the directors of the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. And I'm not a gamer, but I've been asked to take a look at the British machine guns that have been released as part of the latest update for How Let Loose. And what we've got is the Bren light machine gun and the Lewis automatic machine gun. So of the two, the oldest is the Lewis. And the Lewis was introduced into the British Army in 1915. It was introduced because we didn't have enough machine guns. So one that was available at the time was the Lewis. But it wasn't a light machine gun then. It was an automatic rifle. There's nothing light about it. It is quite heavy. It's magazine fed. It could be fired from the shoulder if you really wanted to, but it's not what it was designed for. It was marketed as an automatic rifle. We decided by the end of the Great War that it would take this light machine gun role. So it had served through the 1920s and 1930s as the section light machine gun of the British infantry, but in the 1930s, it was replaced by the Bren in that role. So by the Second World War, it was very much a reserve weapon and it was used as light anti-aircraft, so machine gun fire for against aircraft, by the Royal Artillery to protect their larger anti-aircraft emplacements. It was used on board ships by the Royal Navy, but it was, it was out of service with the British infantry. It was designed to be used by a team of people. There was a number one, which would be able to pick up the gun, carry it, completely ready to fire, and fire it if they wanted to, like that. But it needed a number two to be able to carry more ammunition, to change magazines with the number one, so very easy to quickly change the magazine like that. Uh, and it would also be using those magazines 47 rounds quite quickly. So you'd need three or four more people to be able to carry your spare ammunition for you as well. Go on then, rat -a -tat, rat -a -tat, empty, okay, slip off underneath. So the Bren was introduced to replace the Lewis in the 1930s. It was a Czech design from Bruno. The British decided to adopt that and build it themselves. The Mark I, the Mark II, the Mark III went through the Second World War and much afterwards. It actually only exited British Army service in 2002. So the Bren was the main light machine gun of the British infantry section. So that's effectively one in every eight to 10 men would have a Bren light machine gun. The rest of the men would be supporting that with the ammunition or the magazines as well. Uh, but it was also used in an anti-aircraft role. It fitted on vehicles, but effectively it was the only automatic firepower in the rifle caliber that the infantry section had. To use the Bren, you, your number one, the Bren like machine gunner, would be carrying it on a sling all the time. They'd be carrying it like so, with their bipod folded, ready to respond to enemy action, uh, to an ambush or anything like that. But if they were in any form of attack or anything longer than one or two bursts, they'd be putting the pipe on down and firing it from the shoulder because the Bren's renowned for its accuracy. It will suppress fire through quality rather than the quantity, which is the effect of the German MG42 of its much faster rate of fire and effectively the equivalent in the German infantry section. So if you're going along on patrol, you've got your bipod folded like this, and the only reason you'd be firing from the hip is to react to an enemy ambush, or maybe into the advance as like walking fire. But doing so isn't very accurate. The, the Bren's got significant recoil, so you can't keep it on the target all the time, and you almost need somebody stood behind you supporting you. The practicalities of doing that as well is that anything more than one magazine, more than your 28 rounds, you've got to change the magazine with the hand there while supporting the Bren with the other. So you'd be taking the magazine off, you'd either have to have somebody to put that magazine on, or you'd have to be putting that magazine on from a pouch that you're carrying or somebody's handed to you. So rather impractical to keep up any form of sustained fire from the hip at all. So as well as the Bren light machine gun, the British had the Vickers medium machine gun as well. So I understand that you know gaming is an individual thing and a Vickers requires a team to uh, move it, basically. So we've got the gun, the tripod, but this was introduced in the First World War. It carried on right, before the First World War, 1912. It carried on into the British Army service into the 1960s. So it was there, it provides sustained fire, much more than the Bren could, much more than the Lewis could, uh, and it outlasted the Lewis. It served alongside the Bren for many, many years. You know, we understand these guns, we understand that gaming has to you know, suit the audience as well, but if there was ever an opportunity to build 
sort of tripod mounted weapons be this the Vickers, the MG42, uh, the Browning on a tripod, all of those different roles into a games, then you know, we're more than happy to speak to developers and gamers about it.